blank DAW. We have to get started somewhere, and there's no right way to start. Every approach we're about to review might seem obvious, but you probably only stick with one or two that come natural to you. But that is a recipe for losing your inspiration and having things feel stale. The best way to keep it fresh and stay inspired is to mix up your approach when starting a track. So we're gonna go over four main ways to start a track. Starting with a drum groove can always help get into a vibe quickly. Even if it's just a simple groove that you plan to replace later, this can help get things started. And it's more inspiring than just a simple click track. Whether you get started with a drum groove or not, one approach is to start with the melody. This melody first approach is helpful, especially if you're writing a pop style song where the melody is a critical part of the track. It's going to make you think more about the melody, which is probably gonna result in a catchier track. Another way to start is by sampling. This is especially useful if you're not sure where to start. For example, you can just bring in a sample and start chopping it up a bit on the grid in order to get a track moving in the right direction quickly. A third way to get started is by using a MIDI pack and dragging in that MIDI file and editing it to make it your own. This is really great for getting started quickly even if you don't play keys. And like sampling, it often leads to something you wouldn't necessarily think of if you were playing or drawing it in from scratch, which is always cool. Another place to find inspiration is with sounds. You can pull up a synth like Anna 2 and start auditioning sounds and playing around with them. And you might hear something that sparks an idea for a melody or a chord progression. Especially with tools like Chord Memory Device and the built-in arpeggiator, Anna 2 is really powerful for finding inspiration for a new track. CMD gives you full chord presets. Each of these dots represents a different chord and you can play them one at a time. It's really easy, even if you don't play keys, to get started quickly with a new progression. The arpeggiator is also really cool and powerful when you pair it with CMD. It gives you some great patterns with presets or you can design your own. You can learn more about exactly how these tools work and how to use them in the Slate Academy Anna 2 Masterclass. So here's the first production challenge. Try starting a track with each of these approaches, and you'll see that you create different results when you start with a different mindset. If you're focused on writing the melody first, and that's all you're working on, you're probably gonna have a more melodic track, and it's probably gonna be catchier. If you use a sample or a MIDI pack, you might end up with something that you wouldn't normally come up with, which can also be really interesting and really fresh. So challenge yourself to making four new tracks and on each of those tracks, starting with a different method. Once you get acquainted with these main methods, switch it up from time to time, and you'll find that you hardly ever run out of inspiration. So if you're ready to take your productions to the next level and produce music that is more creative and inspiring, then take the EDM Production Masterclass, now available exclusively at Slate Academy, all inside the Slate Digital All Access Pass which includes $5,000 worth of award-winning plugins, the industry's most game-changing synth, Anna 2, and masterclass courses from the biggest producers and engineers in the industry, starting at just $9.99 per month.